losing time. You're losing time in life. Life is leaking out from your toenails. You're losing time. You're hanging on by your fingernails and you're, you're losing your grip. There's nothing to be done. That's hardly the point. This has been going on for a very long time. Your picture frame is out of joint. You're seeing things, that much is true. But the thing you're missing is life missing you. You ever feel out of sync with things? You ever feel like you're running behind? I mostly feel that I'm in a time machine and that time is passing me by. I mean, I'm looking out through the window, seasons are changing and people are having babies. And some honey is being deposited automatically into my beehive account and then I'm paying my electric bill so it's not as though things are not happening and I know I'm not just the observer, I'm a participant in this little drama. But I don't feel as though I'm actually writing the script. So the biggest thing that I am, I mean... Uh, my actual accomplishment is twofold. Number one, I'm staying alive and attending to my basic life functions. And number two, I'm playing my part. In other words, I'm playing a, uh, the part of a person with my name and appearance and my characteristics and job and my habits and my proclivities and my personality traits. But I'm not certain that any of this is actually me. Now, I know that seems a little bit absurd. It's not like I feel like, uh, you know, I've woken up in a Kafka story, you know, that I'm even trying to write a Kafka-esque tale. I, I mean, somehow I'm dissolving. You know what I mean? If time is measured in density, then clearly my time is running out. I'm getting closer to the point where my life force will be leaving me and I'll be much more porous. You see what I mean? The basic elements will be entering into my individual user matrix. <laughs> I will enter my degeneration and reclamation phase, but the first thing to go will be my software. I mean, my individual programming, and I put that in quotes. Now, I clearly have as much time as everyone else. That's 24 hours a day or so. It seems maybe I'd have more time if I worked smarter and not harder, but I bet I'm not working as hard as I could be. Maybe there's a quote from Charles M. Schulz of Peanuts fame. And he said, you know, we're like 10-speed bicycles, but not all of us are using all 10 gears. Now you've got these 18-speed bicycles, or 21-speed bicycles, and I don't know what I'm riding. So, I mean, maybe that's where I'm at. I'm just spinning my wheels, and the clock of my life is ticking. Uh, but, you know, maybe I'm up on one of those kickstands where I'm not going anywhere because I have no traction, you see. So maybe everything is fine, it's just a matter of gaining traction on my own life and putting uh, my rubber tire down on the roadway so that what I'm doing is I'm actually getting somewhere. Uh, clearly there will be a conclusion. I might crash into something or drive off the end of the earth or just have my bicycle taken away from me at some point. You know, two of my favorite phenomena here on earth are friction and evaporation. Uh, you know, because without evaporation, we'd not have the water cycle, and you see, life would be impossible. And without friction, we'd never get anywhere, because things would just be slippery, and we would never move. Of course, I know friction slows us down, but you know, resistance is how we build muscles, you see, and how we grow, we've got to push off against things, and understand that if you rub two sticks together, they're going to get hot. These are the basic facts of life. Some level, life will never be a well-oiled machine, although I recommend lubrication at the contact points. 
but that's hardly the point. Maybe the main thing is to have someone who can keep winding your mainspring or pulling up your cast iron pine cone so that your bird can keep chirping in your barbarian style birdhouse clock. Because things run down when things fall apart and what you'd like to get all that time that is due you. Of course, we don't know how much time is due us, and it's not even about time in a way, although we spend time, and it's the most real currency of all in all of life. So time is leaking all around us, and it's not like you can get a sponge and sop it up, or a piece of bread, if you know what I mean. I mean what you gotta do is make the most of every moment, and that's what I'm trying to do without that much success. But here we are, even though we've only gone around in a circle. I hope I've taken you on a little journey from the front of point A to the back of point A. And I thank you for spending these precious moments with me. I think... <laughs> and I think myself for spending these precious moments with you. I don't know what that means. And I wish you a good day and a good night and a good moment that you're receiving this message. Amen, and so on and so forth, and that's what I have, because that's all I got at this time.